You can't keep getting away with this! He can't keep getting away with it! He won't. It's 2021, and at QuakeCon today, Bethesda announced Skyrim Anniversary Edition for Skyrim's 10th anniversary. This is another port of Skyrim, and to quote Kotaku, we've been buying, playing, rebuying, and replaying Skyrim ports for a decade. Now, Skyrim Anniversary Edition is being offered to special edition owners for free, which is nice, and it will include 500 pieces of user-made content from the Creation Club, including quests, bosses, dungeons, all that, you know. Uh, but, to quote Kotaku again, which was what I'm using here, it was on the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PC, PS4, PSVR, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and soon to be the Xbox Series S and PS5. Not to mention, Special Edition is technically a different thing on the PC, in my Steam library at least. You're never going to escape Skyrim. It's always going to be part of you. You, you, you can't leave Skyrim, it's not going away. It's coming out on Skyrim's release anniversary, 11-11. My, my grandkids are going to be playing Skyrim on the PlayStation 8 with how oh, this is going. And sure, they added something, they added fishing. They added fishing to Skyrim. You could get fishing from mods probably years ago. Why not, you know, create some sort of new piece of DLC to celebrate the 10th anniversary? Why not create some, you know, take the Dragonborn to Cyrodiil or something like that? Do something interesting instead of just giving us fishing. We did, I highly doubt we're going to even be getting any sort of teaser content for The Elder Scrolls VI, which is what they should have done for the 10th anniversary, really. They should have given us teasers for The Elder Scrolls VI, but they're not. They're just... We're getting Skyrim again, boys. It's great. It's great. It's lovely. I love it. <sighs> Come on, Todd. You can't keep getting away with this. 